So Siegfried, we wanted to talk about sort of a similar situation, how, how digital detectors can be used instead of film in the field. And I think me and you visited a certain customer one time and we realized that taking difficult shots in the field in situations where the radiographer is maybe not so experienced or that it's not clear what the best shot geometry is. Yeah. Uh, how does digital help in this situation? Yeah, you can really, uh, as, as Dan is saying, you see immediately the images and then you can, can adjust it. You can get go another position you can use the different uh, exposure times. Right. So it's, it's really, you see uh, directly the feedback and then you can uh, adjust your setup. So if I'm the radiographer and I'm climbing up the silo uh, and I leave all of my processing equipment on the ground yeah. and I have film or, or a digital detector to choose, I, I take the digital, right? Because I go up, I take the shot, I immediately see. Yeah, I see the uh, down. Uh, the images, I can repeat uh, the measurements right. and, and, and using a different energy, uh, I can use a different exposure time and really improve uh, the image quality. So what, what, if uh, even, what if even though my digital detector will give me a faster time to a certain quality, even, even then the shot may take five minutes, right? So could I stop the shot after, let's say, 30 seconds and see if the geometry is correct, for example? Yes. So uh, I really see directly the information. Maybe the signal to noise ratio is not the best, right. but I see the pushes there. And then I can increase the exposure time and increase my signal to noise ratio. Oh wow. So really if you're in an unknown, probably difficult situation for a shot, it's really great because you Exactly. You, get, you, you directly get the feedback and then can adjust all the settings. Okay. And then uh, if you have the right settings, you can can use the exposure time and then getting the best best optimum uh, information. Fantastic. And I'd like to add to that. I think what Siegfried said is really important on how you get to adjust it. And there's another advantage of digital over film is that if the radiographers are out in the field taking these images, um, they're digital and they're coming back. And that means they can be fed back to a, um, a server or they can be in the cloud and you can have, for example, level three or experienced person who has to expect, look at the radiograph to determine if it's good or bad. He's getting that feedback from the field as those images are getting uploaded and transferred back. So if you're out inspecting a pipeline that's running and you're out in the field, out in the wilderness, you're not going to come back and process your film and see you have bad shots and have to go back out to those sites again. Um, those digital images can be uploaded real time and reviewed and you can be corrected. If there's a bad shot on an elbow, a bad shot on a portion of the pipeline, you can correct and get that shot while you're right there without having to go back. So it helps with the workflow in the field. So basically, as long as you have some sort of communications possibility with a satellite uplink or a cell phone, yeah, you or can what, directly upload this in the cloud and, and, and somebody will look at it and say, look, you have to retake that shot or you're good to go. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. Also, we found something here with some corrosion. Can you test another position and, and see if it's a critical? Okay. So it has the potential, at least, to really change the way we look at what a good workflow is. Correct? Exactly, yes. Okay.